Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Rika Subena from the Electronics Engineering Department of the De La Salle University Las Meninas, specifically from ECE41. And for today's episode, we'll be having a robotics laboratory experiment number six, which involves the use of our accelerometer with our servo motor and our Arduino microcontroller. So this is presented to Engineer Garduke, our robotics laboratory professor. So for our objectives, this experiment will enable us, the student, to control the angular displacement of the robotic arm using the accelerometer. Second is to create a computer program user interface to display data coming from our Arduino. So this will be done through our LCD. So for our equipments and materials, uh, basically we'll be needing this basic materials, uh, which involves personal computer, Arduino microcontroller, robotic arm, or if we don't have a robotic arm since it's uh, costly, we can have a series of servo motors, minimum of three servo motors, that will depict the movement of our robotic arm. So next will be accelerometer, uh, next will be USB cable, next will be power supply, breadboard, alligator clips, and connecting wires. So for our introduction, articulated arm is a robot with the rotary joints. It can be used for a wide variety of applications. In this experiment, the articulated arm is used as an output for the accelerometer sensor. So notably, an accelerometer is an electromechanical device that will measure acceleration forces, basically from its name, okay, act acceleration so these forces may be static like the constant force of gravity or could be dynamic caused by moving or vibrating of the accelerometer that we will show later on the experiment by measuring the amount of static acceleration due to gravity you can find out the angle the device is tilted at with respect to the earth so the purpose of this experiment is to make the articulated arm mimic or depict the movement of an actual arm by attaching the accelerometer on the model's arms, or in our case, in our servo motors. So as the arm or the servo motor uh, or the servo motor of the model moves, the articulated arm or servo motor also moves following the angle of movement of the model's arms or of our accelerometer. This angle will be displayed on the GUI in Microsoft Virtual Studio, but we'll not be doing that uh, for this experiment. So the angle is limited only from 0 degree up to 150 degrees. It is limited to 150 degrees because an angle greater than this cannot be achieved fully by the arm of the model. So this is to relate the motion of the accelerometer and the arm movement in real time. So the program will be mainly created using Arduino, mapping the values to achieve realistic mimicking of arm movement. So the angle projection was shown on an interface created at Visual Studio simply to verify, or in our case, we'll be displaying it in our LCD display and our serial monitor. Okay, so now we'll be proceeding with our procedure. So for our setup, we'll be following a typical setup. So this is our accelerometer, but it's up to you what kind of accelerometer will you be using for this experiment. So just like, just like what I've said, it's up to you what kind of accelerometer will you be using for this experiment. Uh, it could be this accelerometer, the ADXL345, but it could also be this one, okay, this accelerometer, which is MPU6050. So all you have to do is just import the, la import the fritzing library of this MPU6050 to uh, make its schematic in fritzing. So we'll now be proceeding with our fritzing, okay? So for our fritzing, we only connected, okay, we only connected the Arduino microcontroller to our LCD display here, uh, just like what we are doing before on our previous experiment. So uh, SCL will be connected here on this pin of IC, 
and then this SPA will be connected here for our data. And then VCC will be connected to our five poles of our Arduino microcontroller and then G. And then ground will be connected to the ground as it is. So don't forget the connection of our five poles here and then our ground here as well for our circuit to have a proper connection. Okay. And then, so let's move it here. And then we'll be connecting our servo motor. So in this experiment, uh, for the first part, we'll be showing the principle of axel of how the servo motor angle can be controlled using accelerometer. So we'll be showing one video with only one servo motor. Okay, but the experiment will be requiring three servo motors to mimic the robotic arm. So in this schematic, I mean in this diagram, we'll be connecting three servo motors to our five volts and to our ground respectively. So the first servo motor will be connected to the pin number six of our Arduino microcontroller. The second will be connected to the pin number three of our Arduino microcontroller. And then the next one or the last one will be connected to our pin number 9 here. So this will serve as our, uh, this pins serve as our analog, as our input, okay? That will output uh, the change in the angle of our servo motor later on our video. I'll be showing you later on. So for this MPU6050 accelerometer, again, our VCC is obviously connected to our 5 volts. And then our ground. And then our ground will be connected to, to 0, basically. And then our... Okay, let me show you. Wait. Our SCL. Okay. Wait. So our SCL here. Okay, SCL. This SCL here, which is for our clock, will be connected. This green wire, okay, just follow it. Will be connected to our analog input number 5 of our Arduino microcontroller. And then uh, our data here, let me show you, SDA of our MPU6050 will be connected to pin number, to analog input pin of our Arduino microcontroller, which is analog pin 4. Okay. Okay. So, using this diagram, so using this diagram, we will be able to perform the experiment and we'll be able to display the X, Y, and Z values in our LCD display, okay, that will show the angle of our servo motor as well, and the and how the accelerometer is tilt with respect to its position. Okay, then we'll be fixing our schematic here. So all you have to do is just fix, just fix the schematic, okay, in a way that it will be organized. finishing our fixing assembly and our circuit schematic, we'll be proceeding with our source code using our Arduino IDE. So for the first part of our code, we'll be using three servo motors here, okay? So uh, this code basically includes all the library needed to have a working circuit. So next one, we uh, declare, okay, we declare the accelerometer, uh, the model of accelerometer that we will be using in this experiment. Then we also declare LCD and our servo. 
and our three servos. Uh, considering x, y, z, which will show the tilt of our accelerometer and our LCD display. So under here, we just put all of this va all of these commands here to uh, initialize the serial monitor and uh, all of the commands. Okay, so. So this 369 here are the connections of our servo to our Arduino microcontroller. So next one will be here. We will be setting the accelerometer range, okay? And then this one for the degree, okay? And then we'll be considering a delay of 100 milliseconds. So for our void loop, we set the sensors, okay? And we also get the values from the accelerometer, okay? And the next one will be values of our access. So, wait. Values of our access, the X, the Y, and the Z values from our accelerometer. So, yep. So, basically, these are the values from our X, from our accelerometer. And through that, we'll be able to get the values in accordance to how we tilt or move the accelerometer in accordance to gravity. So here on this code, we map the values of our servo motor. So we have here the X value, the Y value, and the Z values. So up here, we also, okay, let me fix this one. Up here, we also display the values in our serial monitor. Okay, the values, the X, Y, and the Z values in accordance to how the accelerometer is tilt, okay, with respect to our gravity. And then here, after displaying it in our serial monitor, we'll be displaying it in our LCD display. Okay, so this will only set where would we display the X value. So it's 0, 0 in our LCD. And then six zero for our z value, and then zero one for our y value. So next one will be the angle. So we'll be displaying the angle of the servo motor as well in our six one in our LCD display. And then we'll be considering a delay of one hundred milliseconds, and then that will conclude our source code for this experiment. So to explain the principle behind how accelerometer is used to control the X, Y, and Z values, as well as the servo motor in this experiment, we'll be using only one servo motor for the meantime to explain the principle behind. So to vary the value of X, okay, as well as the servo motor, we will be moving the servo motor back and forth to change or vary the value of x as well as the servo motor angle so as you can see on the lcd display the x value varies when we move the accelerometer forward and backward then for the next one we'll be varying the value of y so we can vary the value of y by moving the accelerometer sideways as well as the servo motor angle okay we can vary it by moving the accelerometer sidewards. Then for the Z value, we'll be tilting the accelerometer to vary the value of Z as well as the servo motor angle. So this is a good uh, observation to understand the principle behind how accelerometer is used to vary the values of our X, Y, and Z and showing the servo motor angle as well. With respect, to how we change the accelerometer position. Now we'll be proceeding with the actual experiment. So here we used three servo motors, okay, which are connected to the pin number three, six, and nine, respectively, of our Arduino microcontroller. So this uh, pin numbers three, six, nine of our three servo motors will give us the x, y, and z values in accordance to how we changed the accelerometer's position okay so now we'll be varying the position or tilting of our accelerometer so when we move back and forth our accelerometer so you can see the servo motor angle changes and the x value changes as well 
giving us an angle of 72 or 90 okay, degrees, then when we move the accelerometer sideways, we are changing the value of y as well as the servomotor angle. So it gives us here 162 and more angle. And then when we change the position of the accelerometer, when we tilt it, let's have our uh, specific values from our LCD display. It gives us uh, 4 for x, negative 8 for y, and a negative 3 for our z with angle of 27 degrees. So that's how we vary the values of x, y, and z, as well as the servomotor angle using our accelerometer. Okay, We can vary it by moving our accelerometer. So that's our experiment. So to conclude this experiment number six, okay? So uh, this experiment enable us to observe how will robotic arm behave through our servomotors, through our three servomotors that we make, okay? That we make how robotic arm will behave in accordance to how accelerometer were to how accelerometer was tilted uh, with respect to gravity. So you can also use okay, you can also use a different accelerometer. So it's up to you. How would you explore the experiment? Okay. And we have here our complete paper already. We have here our code for one servo motor, which we uh demonstrated a while ago to explain uh, the principle behind it. And then we have code for our three servo motors as well. And then uh, to have a complete paper, we have our schematic from Fritzing, and then our circuit assembly from Fritzing, okay, and our actual circuit assembly and our experiment. So this is a good application in terms of in terms of robotics. We're in uh, nowadays robots are used to perform hard jobs in factories and to perform uh, jobs which people cannot do or find it hard to do because of let's say difficulty of the job so this is a good application which will enable us to have an innovated workplace in the future so again my name is Rika Casabrana and I hope you learned a lot from our experiment number six today about accelerometer and our, about our uh, servo motors being controlled by accelerometer so I hope I will be seeing you in our next vlog. See you. Bye for now.